Welcome to our sports video sessions provided by the Office of Sport. This video talks about Instagram, Snapchat and Flickr, which are all photo and video sharing services. Just remember though, your club may have requirements in its code of conduct or social media policy. Your council may have requirements about what you can do on council facilities, or even if it's a private venue, there may be restrictions about photos you can take on game day and at training. So make sure you check with those first. To get started, let's look at Instagram. Instagram is a relatively new, but it's now a few years old, social network. And it focuses on taking your phone, taking a photo, applying a filter to it, and then uploading it to the internet. And what's really interesting about Instagram is that it's all done from your mobile phone. You can browse it online, but you can't post photos from your computer you can only post them from your mobile phone. And that makes it really interesting because it's a bit different than the other social networks that are out there. The web version of Instagram allows you to view photos, engage with them, and even see some of the likes and comments. But what it doesn't allow you to do is post photos. You can consume the media on it, but you can't add to it. There is limited search functionality, but the app really is designed to be used from your phone. Can your club have an Instagram? It can, and it should. Instagram's user base is amazingly broad. Now that Facebook has bought Instagram, it's opened the doors for millions of new users to come in and give it a go. It's really great to build connections with your members on game day, at training, at special events, and it's certainly something that your club should check out. You can have multiple people on the committee, all with the app on their phone taking pictures on game day. It's not limited to the one person and the club can create its own account with its own email and its own name. And it's certainly something that we recommend. This brings us to Snapchat, which is another interesting app-based social network. Snapchat is used for individuals sending photos, videos, and content to each other. But unlike other social networks such as Facebook, Twitter, and YouTube, where there's a central repository of old photos, old videos, old posts that people can scroll through, there's no central hub on Snapchat. It is more of a messaging service for people to send content. And the most interesting thing is that content expires. Users can send that content to and from each other, and it can expire after maybe a few seconds or maybe up to a minute. That being said, the network has been criticized and there have been users that have shown that that content can actually be saved. So the apps claims that it is secure and content does expire may not be all that they claim to be. And if you are interested in about that, there are many resources on that that are available. Should your club have a Snapchat? It could, but again, it's questionable. There are much easier and widespread networks to use and the important question to ask is, why would a club want to put up content that expires? Especially content that expires only after a few seconds. The large sports, especially sports such as the NFL in America, have experimented with Snapchat. But the difference is they have a high volume of members. At an NFL game with 80,000 people in a stadium, sharing some private moments of off-field, behind the scenes is really important to engage that fan experience. But for a local club, there really isn't a lot of value in Snapchat. And of course, this brings us to Flickr. Flickr is not app-based like the other two we've just discussed, but it is online. It's a photo repository and its primary mission is to get amateur and professional photographers to be sharing their photos online. It's used for image hosting, some video hosting, but very much professional, quasi-professional, or even amateur photography as well. Photos can be uploaded in different sizes. They can be offered as galleries. It's used for photographers to showcase their work, but it's also used for a community of people to share their photos. Can a club have a Flickr? It can, but again, should it? There are much easier and widespread networks to use. Facebook, Twitter, YouTube, Instagram, much higher value for the time invested. Kind of like YouTube, Flickr could be used as a repository of information. With YouTube, it's a video repository. With Flickr, it could be an image repository if your club is very media heavy. 
That being said though, it is the domain of professional and amateur photographers. It's not something for club networking, it's not something for communication. And at the end of the day, it probably isn't suitable for a club to be investing the time and effort required to use it.